this video we have a brand new Trimble TSC5 data collector that I'm getting familiar with and I'm going to go ahead and set up a GNSS contact for the California real-time network in Southern California. So to begin with I'm going to go ahead and select the Trimble access application from the desktop shortcut menu and we'll allow that a second to open up and uh, I've got the projects menu but I'm going to go ahead and select the three little lines in the upper left hand corner of the display I'm just going to tap that with my finger and in the flyout I'm going to accept the settings option and in settings I'm going to go ahead and select the connections option and I'm going to go ahead and select GNSS contacts from the flyout menu here and you'll see I have no GNSS contacts to date so I'm going to go ahead and select the new option at the bottom of the screen and I'm going to go ahead and type in my GNSS contact name. So I think I'm going to go ahead and turn on my caps lock for a moment. And I'm going to type in CRTN SoCal Z6. And I'm going to take a quick look at the other settings here. Internet Rover looks right. Route through controller, that looks right. I'm going to be using a Verizon hotspot as the source of my connection for this. Everything looks good so far. So I think I'm going to begin by putting in my NTRIP username and password that's been provided to me from CRTN. So let me go ahead and put in my username here. That is uppercase in my case. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get my character in there right now. And and now I'm going to go ahead and input my password. Very important that we do this case sensitive. So All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and put in my IP address. And for Southern California at the current time, oops, let's swipe back through that. It's 132.239.154, oops, double clutched, dot eight zero. And the port number for zone six, where I'm currently located, is 2103. It would be 2104 if you were in zone five. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit. I don't need to send my user identity. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and store that. If I wanted to create a duplicate of that for Cal or CRTN SoCal Zone 5, I would simply hit copy at the bottom of the screen. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my caps lock again and just give it a new name. SoCal Z5. Everything is exactly the same. The only difference really for zone five with CRTN is I'm going to go ahead and give that a port number of 2104. So I'm going to go ahead and store that. And now I should have those in my back pocket for later. So I'll go ahead and I'll escape back out of that. And that concludes our video on creating a CRTN GNSS contact.